entrepreneurs and visionaries. Welcome to another Monday Night Live training where your journey to business success accelerates. Join us for insights, strategies, and tools to elevate your business while keeping your budget in mind. It's time to transform your passion into profit. Your host, Cory von Bill Costa, is about to take the stage. Get ready to be inspired and empowered. The future of your business starts now. Hello, hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. I'm in the process of adding everyone that we're going to be talking about today. So if you're just getting here, tell me hello. Let me know you're in the house. Um, and if you think we're about to sit here and talk about um, women entrepreneurs like Oprah, Rihanna, like we did that last month. <laughs> We're going to be talking about, I'm going to be sharing some amazing success stories from women right here within the IROC family. So definitely, if you have been a client, first of all, if you've been a client, put something in the comments. Let me know you're here because um, I know we're streaming on different places. I know sometimes some of you can come live. Some of you watch replay. Shout out to my replay folks. Y'all be really here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but I'm posting, I'm a, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to add them as we talk. So if you're in the private community, as I mentioned different people, hey, um, as I mentioned different people, I will be um, adding them to the chat. And if I see some, I'm going to do that too, because today is really just about celebrating us. For those of you who don't know, March is Women's History Month. And usually, I'm not going to lie to y'all, even though I homeschool, I be missing out on the holidays and the month things <laughs> and all of that. And so I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to get on top of this. So I do want to celebrate us, right? Um, there are some, some very unique things that happen in women's circles and women in general. There are a lot of challenges that only we face. Um, and I'm not going to the nuances and all the different things here, but I do want us to be on the same accord and just celebrate each other right there are so many humongous oh am i freezing a little bit hopefully hopefully it'll get itself together um but there are just so many um other types of entrepreneurs out there um big companies conglomerates empires what have you but there are only so many of us so i wanted to share today and make sure that we celebrate each other all right, I'm going to refresh on Facebook. Let me see if I can fix the little technical issue. Let me see. feel like I'm moving again. So hopefully you can see. Let me know if I'm still frozen or if I'm lagging over there because I'll see me go and then it'll stop. So hopefully it'll work out. Let me see. Hold on. Let's see where we are. We are we're all streaming on a couple of places. So I'm trying to make sure that they're all good. Give me one second. So I can look. All right, we're, we're good over there. One more place, one more place. But today we're not going to be talking long. Like I said, my goal for tonight is really just to share some success stories and for us to have a place to have a conversation. All right, cool. Yeah. All right. So we're we're doing okay. I'm I'm gonna keep going because you know my motto. Like we're gonna just keep it keep it tracking. Hopefully technology catches up. But we are going to, um, like I said, talk a little bit about some amazing entrepreneurs that have been in the IROC world. Um, so definitely, like I said, if you're if you're on, in the private Facebook community, I'm going to tag them as I talk about them in case you want to do business with them, in case you want to connect with them, in case you want to follow them on social media, what have you. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. But before we dive in, as always, let me do my little my little intro because I get in trouble when I don't. <laughs> so today, again, is about celebrating female entrepreneurship. If you're not familiar with us, um, the company that sponsors these fun little trainings every single week at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is IROC Marketable Business Solutions. And at IROC Marketable Business Solutions, we are dedicated to helping coaches, consultants, and small business owners achieve their goals and unlock their full potential. And even though we're talking about the ladies today, we do definitely work with um, individuals from any and all walks of life. 
All right, our mission is to empower small business owners by helping them accomplish their goals while keeping their budget constraints, skill sets, and available resources at the forefront of our minds. Our job is not to sell you a whole bunch of things. Our job is really to support you where you are and give you affordable resources, tips, strategies, guides, templates, so that you can advance your business. All right. I'm over here just refreshing, making sure I can see everything. All right, y'all are with this. All right, so a little bit about myself, for those of you who do not know, I'm Corey Palma Foster. I am a speaker, I'm a trainer, I'm a certified business coach, and I'm also the CEO of I Rock Marketable Business Solutions. Um, I'm a female entrepreneur, so I count for today, and I consider myself a pretty good success story. Um, so I'll start with myself. I actually have been an entrepreneur. Whew, I need to actually do the math, but it's definitely been over six years. Um, I started uh, becoming, I became an entrepreneur after leaving the medical field. I have a rare eye condition called uveitis. And um, because of that condition, I was no longer able to work um, a typical nine to five or it was very, very difficult. I was advised by my doctors to um, stop working <laughs> for safety reasons, um, get disability and, and kind of just just go into a black hole, basically. I did not do that. Well, actually, that's not true. I did that for a little bit. <laughs> I got to tell you the truth. I did that for a little bit, but eventually I did come out of that depression because that's what it was. Um, and I did start my first business, which was called I Rock Mind, Body, and Soul. And that's where I sold um, homemade products. I sold healing salves. I sold um, candles, uh, handmade soaps, hair growth oil, um, body butters, bath bombs, anything that can make you feel good about yourself. That's what I was making and selling and I enjoyed it. Um, and it actually led me to seeing there was a gap in the market where small business owners were really struggling to kind of get their name out there. They were struggling to make adequate sales. They were struggling to make a profit. And I then shifted into marketing and sales in the digital space. And that eventually evolved into what is now I Rock Marketable Business Solutions, where I met, oh, I, where I am the lead coach and I also um, lead the marketing side of our business as well. We have a small business marketing firm. So we're kind of like a one-stop shop. But that's that's my little, my journey in a nutshell. I'm not gonna stay on me too long. If you wanna know more about my story, let me know. I will be happy to share. But let's get into, like I said, we're gonna shout out some folks tonight. Um, I'm not even gonna go through the slide. You guys know what we do, coaching, marketing, VA services. Um, if you want to know more, definitely reach out to me. We can get on a call. All right, let's talk about our first amazing client. Now, actually, before I talk about this amazing client, if you worked with me in the last year, so last 12 months, and you are not on this slide, I am sorry. Um, I, I was grabbing mostly coaching clients, um, and I was grabbing the first people I thought of. I do apologize ahead of time if I forgot you. Please let me know. I will happily, um, because Mar all of March is uh, Women's um, History Month, I will happily do you on another Monday Night Live. I want to preface this because I was stressing over here, trying to make sure that I got everybody. Um, and I know I didn't. I know I didn't already. Uh, but we're going we gonna to go through the people that I did get. And I promise, just send me a message. I will happily include you in uh, one of our other Monday Night Lives. But let's talk about Cheryl. Cheryl is absolutely amazing. We've been working together now probably for almost a year. She's the owner of Advocating for Kids Incorporated. It is a nonprofit. It's actually based out of Virginia. Um, and they specialize and they promote um, equitable special education advocacy services for neurodiverse students attending public schools. Um, so Cheryl is amazing. She provides support directly to parents um, and families that need support. She's an IEP specialist. So if you have a child, whether you're in Virginia or not, if you have a child that is neurodivergent or has special needs or has an IEP or has a 504, she is able to really sit with you, help you understand the process, advocate with you, um, come up with plans, actually be an advocate, whether it's virtual or in person, depending on your location, and give you the support you need. Um, Cheryl's company is absolutely amazing. They're actually power partnering with Howard University this year to do some amazing data research on um, the Black 
experience in special education. Um, I'm excited to see what those findings that say, because for those of you who don't know, um, my son, when he was in public school, did have an IEP and it was a struggle. I mentioned to Cheryl that every time I had an IEP meeting, I was literally bawling in tears. Um, and it was, it was a really, really hard time for me. Um, and thankfully, because I work from home, I was able to pull him out, but I know that is not everyone's circumstances. Um, but she provides some just amazing support, some amazing community. She has a community where she um, supports these parents and these families. She also um, does some consulting work where she goes into schools, educates, partners with legal entities to advocate in a legal basis to make sure that our kids get the services they need. She also hosts yearly a conference. Um, her conference is, I believe, in August, where she, again, provides a safe space, a, a space, safe space, Lord, I can't talk today, a community where you can learn all the cool things about IEPs, 504, special education, um, your rights as a parent, and the list goes on and on. So shout out to Cheryl, because she is most definitely an amazing success story. And I know that her company is going to be so much bigger in the future. And I did, I am tagging people as I talk, if you're in the private community, so that if you want to reach out, you can. All right, the next person, Vanessa Brickin, she's actually one of our newer um, IROC family members, but she's the owner of Vertac Learning Lab. Where is she from? Lord have mercy, I don't remember. I think she's on the East Coast, but I could be lying, y'all. I think I'm lying. She's not on the East Coast, <laughs> I think she's, but you can look her up. Her website is there, um, but it's a Vertec Learning Lab is a consulting service that designs and creates digital learning labs that offer virtual and tactile learning opportunities for students with varying needs from home or school. What does that mean? She has something that's really cool that I've never seen um, before. If you guys remember how you felt if you were parents during COVID when they sent your kids home and they were scrambling, <laughs> um, she has taken the data from that online kind of learning experience, what works, what didn't work. Also has, um, she actually has a book and I should have put her book up here, but she has a book that talks about innovative learning and how not every kid fits into these little boxes, right? Not every kid can sit in a class with 30, 45 kids and learn. Not every kid can learn at the same space, same pace. Not every kid can handle the different stimuli that happens. Not every kid is below um, their level. Not every kid is above their level. There's just so many different needs for the children. And she creates an innovative classroom floor plan um, and learning lab that allows schools to feel empowered where they can incorporate technology, they can incorporate teachers who can work together and be able to really provide adequate services to all the students in the classroom. And they even have like before and after school programs. It's so cool. Um, and then she also has an online service, whether you are in public school or homeschool, where you can just take digital classes. So if your child is really struggling in a specific subject and they offer it, you can just get that class and it's also offered to schools. She also goes in as a consultant and teaches schools how to have more innovative, collaborative um, spaces where all students can prosper. So shout outs to Vanessa. I have really enjoyed working with her. Um, she's just absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. All right, who else do we have on the docket? Maria Davis Pierre from Autism and Black Incorporated, another nonprofit. We've been together, I think, oh, yeah, over a year now. Um, she actually has a conference coming up. Um, it is the Autism and Black Conference. It's in April, April 19th through 21st. Don't, don't give me the line, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um, but definitely check her out. She also has a, she has a um, free community. She also has a paid community. Um, she brings together, oh my gosh, some of the biggest, best, baddest experts out there that help Black autistic families. I love saying that because sometimes we need our own stuff. Again, I'm for everybody, but sometimes there's things that are just unique, not only to females, but unique to the Black experience. And so she provides a safe space. Her and her amazing husband, shout out to Dr. Barry, they provide an amazing safe space where Black families can get together, learn, get resources, and feel empowered um, as they um, maneuver through the journey of autism. 
which is really, really cool. I've been so um, honored to be a part of this community. I realized through, from helping out that I am definitely neurodivergent. I was like, oh Lord, she's talking to me. <laughs> like I went to the conference last year and I was like, oh, oh, I need to go get tested because this is real. Um, and you may have, if you've been watching me, you know, I'm like, oh Lord, these are some tendencies that I have, but I've learned so many things from working with her company and seeing the behind the scenes. I'm just, I'm so grateful that I even get to be a, a small part of their journey, but they help so many, so many amazing families. They deal with um, parents who have autistic children, um, young adults, even adults who are late diagnosed or they were diagnosed as kids and are still, because of course autism has no cure, doesn't need a cure, but dealing through, going through their journey they cover everything from the very beginnings to the very ends, dating, uh, marriage life, dealing with your family, dealing with your kids, <laughs> everything as it relates to the Black autistic experience. So if you know anybody who would benefit from there, definitely reach out to Maria and her amazing team at Autism and Black Incorporated. And if you are, like it's virtual, if you are open to coming to the conference, I know they're still doing their early, I think they're still early bird special. I'm like, what day is this? They may it may be coming off soon, so definitely get your ticket now. Oh, and let me tag her if you're in the group. Let me see. At I think she's in our group. Maria. Oh, it's Maria. There she goes. All right, I'm tag I'm tagging as I go. There may be a little delay. I think you're getting it a little bit after I'm talking, but um, you'll still see the tags. All right, Oyen. Yes, Oyen is absolutely amazing. I got to work with her and her network last year. Um, the company is called the Network Support Group. She also is the owner of Onsite Tax, Onsite Taxes Financial Solutions. Um, and so definitely check her out. One, she's the baddest tax professional out there. Her team's absolutely amazing. So if you need your taxes done, reach out to her first and foremost. But secondly, she has something called the network that supports small business owners, especially tax professionals, and gives them a safe space, again, a network with resources. She brings in amazing experts. I was one of the experts last year, and I focused a lot on startups and marketing and sales, but she also had an amazing guy, Michael. She had the tax guy up there. She had um, people that talked about like life insurance, different things, because you really need support throughout the entirety of your entrepreneur journey. So she brings, just like the network sounds, she brings those amazing experts to the network to share their resources, their expertise, their education to those individuals. She also is a approved IRS, has go approved IRS um, instructor. So when it comes to taxes, she actually puts out courses to teach other tax professionals how to do their job. So when I tell you top tier, she's absolutely amazing. Um, look, you can reach out, it's tax season. So unless you get your taxes done, you may have to wait a little bit, but the network group is free and it is available. You can actually go on Facebook, that's where it lives. And you can put in um, the network support group and connect with the network there. Um, the websites are also on the screen. Let me see, I don't know if she's in our private community. Let me check, but I think she is. There she goes. So I will tag her as well. But I absolutely enjoyed working with her and all the other experts last year that were a part of the network. It was just a cool experience because there was no power struggles. There was no ego. It was literally how can we get more information to individuals? How can we make it easier for them? How can we give them resources? How can they collaborate with each other? And it was just a very, very cool experience all the way around. All right, next, Latasha Matthews, uh, CEO of Why To Live Well. Um, she also is a licensed mental health therapist, so she knows her stuff. But um, I got to work with Latasha on a couple of projects last year. It was so cool. Like, shout out to, we worked on her website. Uh, that was one of our projects. But she's absolutely amazing. I love all things mental health. Back in the day, I actually went to school, thought I was going to be a therapist. <laughs> that was not my journey. Um, but I love that she um, not only has her actual practice, because like I said, she's a licensed mental health therapist, but she also counsels. Um, and I love that a lot of therapists are moving to coaching and counseling 
um, because of the fact that some people don't have insurance and some people just need a different type of support, but they need people who have the education around it. Um, just like a lot of teachers are moving into ed consulting because we need people that know that information, but we need it in a different way. And I think that Latasha really does fill that gap really nicely. Um, I love that all my clients, I feel like create a really safe space for their clients. I don't work with no, no chumps, uh, but Latasha is absolutely amazing. Um, she has a lot of offerings. Definitely go to her website um, if you are needing support. I love that she does a lot of focus on boundaries. Boundaries was something that I, I personally struggled with. Um, she actually has some boundary cards. And, and I, excuse me if I missed that anybody had like a book or anything. A lot of these people do have books. I think Maria has a book as well. But um, Natasha has these cool boundary cards. Um, I'm trying to think, does she have a book? But I can't remember off the top of my head. That's what happens when I don't take notes, y'all, but it's been a day. But yeah, absolutely amazing. Um, she has some really cool things. She has some, some. I think it's, let me, let me look, let me look. This is marriage counseling. It's a lot of stuff. And I ain't going to mess her stuff up, so hold on. So I can just tell you what the services are, because I don't want to mess up. I don't want to mess up. Here we go. All right. I'm going to go to the website and just look. Because I know I was up here. <laughs> oh, but also she is a consultant as well. She does speaking gigs and things of that nature. Um, there we go. Because I was like, let me make sure I know what I'm talking about. But I'm like, I'm going to read you what it says. She's a keynote speaker, trainer, consultant, author. Yes, I knew she had a book. And a therapist. Um, and she focuses on wellness. Um, emotional wellness is her is her jam. That's why I was like, I knew I knew about the boundary cards. Um, but yeah, so that is her jam. Definitely reach out to her if you're looking for a speaker, if you're looking for consulting, or if you're looking for coaching um, to support you in that endeavor. And if you're looking for a therapist, I don't know nothing about what insurances she takes. But like I said, she does um, have clients as well on her therapy side. All right, next up. Oh, did I tag her? I'm sorry. At, let me see. I think she's in our group. There she goes, Latasha. Oh, all right, next, Misha Branch. Shout out to Misha. We just actually recorded today. Um, you won't see it for a couple months, but she recorded for um, the IROC Business with Confidence podcast. And Misha actually last year was one of our experts that held a master class. Um, but we've also worked together um, in a coaching capacity. Um, but she um, is a consultant. And she's a consultant that specializes in consumer insights. Um, and she partners with small business owners looking to scale to six to seven figures. Um, when you look at the episode in a couple months, you'll see we talk a lot about market research, why it's so important, understanding your target audience. Um, what else do we talk about? Your, your target audience, um, looking at your competitors, um, how to go about getting research, how to go about partnering, how to go about gathering this information and using it to outsource, to be able to um, communicate with your team. I was explaining to her, a lot of people come to our marketing side wanting to market things and they don't, they're not clear on who the target audience is. They are not clear how their product fits into the market. They're not clear on their pricing because they haven't done enough marketing research. And she does that for you. And people don't even realize how important that piece is to their business. They just think, okay, well, I, I, if I was my target audience, I would want this product and I want it this way. But she is actually very data driven. She's worked with some amazing companies, Disney, Taco Bell, Uncle Ben's Rice and more. Um, every time I talk to her, I'm like, dang, your list of people is, is incredible. Um, she's worked with some of the biggest and baddest uh, Fortune 500 companies. And then she's taken that knowledge over that she's gathered over the last two decades plus. Right. And she has brought it down to a small business level um, where we can actually utilize those same strategies, even though we don't have to spend the thousands upon millions of dollars to to do this work. And then we can use it to make our decisions, make it more data driven. Um, and I think it's a great way to go about your business so that you're not just throwing money away. Um, and also, she's just a great person. I enjoy talking to her. I always learn something new. She's a breath of fresh air. And she also knows her stuff. That, that's kind of people I like in my life. People who know their stuff, but they also are able to uh, give you amazing value, but with a smile. All right, next, LJ Henderson. Uh, we worked with her last year. She's the owner of Little STEM Academy. She's also a speaker. 
She's also a coach. She's a consultant. Um, she owns two daycares, I want to say. She's spoken in D.C. She travels all over the country. Um, and she has, in the picture, you can see these little STEM, I forget what she calls them, like lab kits. But her goal is to really um, provide early access to STEM for our kids, right? STEM is your science, um, technology, engineering, math. There we go. Like I had to read my own screen. Like what was, what's the T? But yeah, science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, and she provides that service and she advocates, right? It's not only like, hey, I got this product, but she advocates for the early um, exposure to STEM because studies show that when kids are exposed to STEM early, they are doing way better in all of their subjects throughout their lifetime. They're lifelong learners. And, and we know too that these are the these are the jobs that pay really well. And so especially for us, I'm looking around for us, it's so important that we and our kids have the opportunity to be exposed to these things early because it may not be things that are in our families. It may not be things that our kids see in our communities. And so having that early access gives them a leg up to the opportunity to even think, oh, I could be an engineer or I could be a scientist. I could be a doctor. I could be whatever people do in math because <laughs> I don't do math, but whatever the case may be. But uh lj is absolutely amazing she actually has a virtual i don't know if it's called little stem academy but they actually do virtual stem lessons like you can literally sign up for it you and your kid can do them at home you also um if you are part of a school can reach out and she can bring in um education to the school and provide you with STEM support. They do STEM nights, all kind of things. So it's very community, family, and school-based to bring everyone together to give these kids the leg up they need to succeed. All right, we got Kenyatta Russell. Kenyatta Russell, oh my gosh, she was with us for, I think two years, two years maybe. Um, and she's the owner of Learn to Thrive Education. She's based out and I'm sorry if I didn't say where everybody's from. Misha was from um, LA. Um, LJ, where's LJ from? She's not on the East Coast. I'm not sure. Texas, I believe. Um, Kenyatta's in Florida. Learn and Thrive Education. It's actually a center now. When it first started out a couple years ago, it was just virtual um, consulting work. Now she actually has a location in Florida. Um, she has before and after school support. Well, I think it's after school support. Um, micro schooling, homeschooling, I think that covers all of it, but it's a place, it's a resource center where kids can go and actually get, they can actually take classes. Um, I don't know if she still does virtual things, but yeah, you can actually go to the center. I know they have registration that was opened in the fall. Um, so I'm sure we're about to hit summer again. I can't believe I'm saying that, but summer's about, to, we're almost at the end of the school year, y'all. Um, but I'm sure that they will be having summer classes and they'll have, of course, open enrollment in the fall as well. So if you're in Florida, um, definitely check out the Learn to Thrive Education Resource Center because there's just so many amazing classes and resources they have there. And shout out to Kenyatta because opening up any kind of brick and mortar, I was like, girl, you go ahead. <laughs> You go ahead. Uh, some of these people do have, um, just like LJ, she has um, two two actual locations. But most of my clients that have worked with me in the past are virtual, uh, digital. We are on the internet, um, and so it's always cool to see somebody take what we've done and then put it into a brick and mortar location. All right, we got Jamila Moore, um, owner of I Am More Consulting LLC. Um, what can I say about Jamila? She's absolutely freaking amazing. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me go back real quick before I talk about Jamila. Let me make sure I tagged. I think I missed LJ. I don't know if LJ is in our community. Um, yep, there she goes. There's LJ. Sorry, I, I'm slacking because I got excited. Let me make sure. I already tagged Misha. Let me see Kenyatta. There she goes. All right, look at y'all all in the community. I so y'all, I be telling my clients to hop in, but sometimes they find me from other places than they do, or you know, they get access to me. They don't always join the community. So I'm like, hold on. Uh, but anyway, back to Jamila. I got connected with Jamila because we had the same coach um last year. And immediately I was like, This woman's amazing. She is a lawyer by trade, which already makes you be like, 
Hey, sister the girl. Um, but she works with small businesses to start, grow, and legally protect, help them legally protect their businesses um, and their brands and their profits. If you were paying attention last year, she actually hosted a master class for us where she talked to us about trademarks and copywriting. And woo, if you were there, <laughs> she gave us like a little pre-quiz. And when I tell you, I didn't know so much. And we learned that not knowing, ignorance was not a, a pass. We could still be held liable or or guilty or however the wording is for these things. And I thought, wow, there's so many of us that are small business owners who are self-taught, that didn't go to business school, who are out here grinding every day, trying our hardest. And we could lose it just like that. We could lose it just like that one disgruntled person, Somebody saying that we're doing a copyright or trademark infringement and all of our money, all of our business, all of our credibility gone. And so I love that Jamila comes to business coaching with more of a legal, um, a legal foundation of saying, hey, we can do this, but let's make sure we're protected legally so that we can keep our money and we can keep our butts out of jail. And so she's absolutely amazing. She's actually um, one of our experts that is featured on our website. Um, you need to connect with her. The fact that like, if you are thinking about trademarking or copywriting, especially reach out to her because you need somebody in your corner who knows what they're doing. So you're not out here playing around, wasting money, and you need to make sure that you are legally protected so that you get to keep your coins. So shout out to Jamila. I think everybody needs to talk to her at least once. She's also, um, all, most of these people, if not all of them are on social media. Actually, all of them are on social media. Um, most of them, well, actually all of them, you can get on Facebook. Some of them are on LinkedIn, if not all. Some of them are even on TikTok. I think all of them are on Instagram. So if you're looking for somebody in particular, one, if you're in the private community, I'm tagging them. You can just go to their pages. But outside of that, if you Google these ladies, you will find them or you can reach out to me. I would be happy to um connect you to any of them and ladies if you're seeing i'm tagging you definitely you can post any links that you want um because i'm, I'm talking about you guys all right comfort walker owner of disability awareness teacher support services oh my gosh she's absolutely amazing i feel like she's from the north but i cannot remember y'all i we digital i be forgetting all the time where people are located in real life but comfort is absolutely amazing um, her company supports teachers, caretakers, care teams, organizations, and schools, and they provide awareness and support regarding students with disabilities. The coolest part about Comfort is when she came to me, she was like, I have a passion for children in Africa. I was like, okay, girl, that's cool, but we got to make money. I was like, I don't know how to make money in Africa. I don't know how to make money in the U.S. So we did a lot of work with the U.S., but she still never forgot about the fact that she had a passion for kids in Africa because she explained to me how they needed support where, like, in our country, we have a lot of already, you know, places that do, you know, some support things. But in Africa, and I believe it was specifically Ghana, she was like, they really need the services that she knew that she could offer, the resources she knew she could offer. And we have been working together for, I don't know, maybe six months or so. She actually went to Ghana. She has a, a physical location there. She did a tour where she went and partnered with other organizations and went and taught and educated and gave resources um, to these companies that are boots on the ground. And I just thought that was super amazing. She followed her dream. She's like, girl, I'm going over there. I said, go ahead. Um, she, she does still work in the US. Um, she does do consulting work. Um, she does help our kids in the U.S., so definitely reach out. Um, but another amazing organization and uh, any of these nonprofits that I mentioned, so this one, um, Autism and Black Advocating for Kids, even if you are not someone who needs to directly um, get their services, you can always donate um, because these are nonprofits. They are doing a, they're working for a cause. Feel free to donate. Um, to them, feel free to offer your time, offer your resources, um, because that's the whole point of this. We need to be working with one another, collaborating with one another, supporting and uplifting one another, even if you just like their, their content, right? Follow each of these ladies, like their pages, follow their pages. That is even helpful because now others will be able to see, the algorithm will show it to other people because they're like, oh, there's some good content. Other people like it. So please do support these amazing, amazing women. Uh, let me tag comfort. I'm just surprised every time I see their names pop up, like, oh, they're in the group. All right, last but not least, 
is my mama. If y'all didn't know she's my mama, she's my mama, but she's also my executive assistant. Oh, but she's also a client. Um, I can't remember which came first. I think she might have been, I think she was my proofreader first, then my client, then my executive assistant, <laughs> if that's the order. But either way, um, she's also an entrepreneur in her own right. And I know it says I rock up here and you're like, did she steal your name? No, she actually had the name first, but it's my name backwards. So I stole it when I decided to have my own business. She actually... Uh, was the reason why I knew that entrepreneur was even a thing because she had had um, a business where she was out selling her craft. She actually is amazing. She makes stone crafts. She makes baked goods. She also um, works with her husband. He does wood um, designs. So they had already had a business. And then I decided to become an entrepreneur. So shout out to her. But um, she, if you're in the Virginia area, is an amazing baker. She does tasting parties where you can get your, you know, your homegirls together and be able to taste some amazing desserts. She also has a subscription service where you can order monthly boxes of desserts, whether they're cakes or cookies. And then she also has, if you've ever seen like Ace of Cakes, these designer cakes, or if you ever seen me post about a cake, I'm usually tagging her because she makes these amazing different cakes. She's made shoe cakes, perks cakes, um, she made an Eiffel Tower. I mean, she probably doesn't even want me to mention that because that's a lot. She doesn't want to do that much work anymore, but she makes some really cool like event custom cakes. So um, if you're in the Hampton Roads area of Virginia, you definitely can um, get her baked goods. I do think she ships some things, but not everything. So I won't speak on that. She also is an author. Um, she has a children's book called Wally's Dream. Uh, Wally the giraffe wants to be an amazing baker one day, but he does not have the skills or the know-how to do so. And he has an amazing friend that helps him learn how to become a baker. And he does it. And it's kind of funny enough, her story, because uh, I still joke her that she can't, she can't boil water. She's not a cook, but she learned to bake. She learned to sew. Um, she's pretty much self-taught and she's absolutely fabulous. And I'm not just saying it because she's my mom. I'm saying it because she's a client and she's actually working on her second book. Um, so that should be out hopefully this year. Um, so shout outs to her for for setting the example, uh, but also following her dream to be an amazing entrepreneur and putting out an amazing service to to um, to everyone that, that she works with. So shout outs to her as well. So I did say, look, I went through everybody, but I did say I was going to teach something. So first of all, I hope you got, you learned that these are some amazing entrepreneurs. And let me make sure I, I tag her as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully you learned that, you know, an amazing entrepreneur doesn't have to be Oprah. <laughs> we have some amazing entrepreneurs right here in our community. All the ladies that I talked about today are in our private community. And this is why I always tell you guys, are you utilizing the private community? Because it's not just for me. It's for you guys to network and connect. There are just so many amazing, amazing, amazing entrepreneurs in there. Look at their profiles, look at the members, look at what they say, what they say they do, connect with them, reach out, partner, collaborate, learn, grow, um, because they're there for you, right there as a resource. Um, they also post in there. So please, if you're not already in the community, um, say community in the chat, I will happily send you a link. Um, but it's called Coaches, Consultants, and Speakers Start and Scale to Six Figures on a Budget. And it's all about affordable um, resources to grow your business. All right. I did want to talk quickly because I'm going to let y'all go soon because like I literally have dinner sitting here. I'm like, I got to eat soon. But I do want to talk about, since it is Women's History Month, let's talk about some gender specific challenges. And I did not do any notes today, so we're going to be real quick. But we have to be honest as we go about this entrepreneur journey, that there are some specific um, challenges that we face as women. Um, now, some people consider challenges things like that will stop us or hinder us. I look at them as things that say, hmm, that's annoying. <laughs> that's annoying. You know what I mean? Uh, I got to I gotta do a workaround for that. I don't see it as a stop sign. I see it more as a yield sign, right? A caution sign. Um, things like we have to sometimes consider, and I think some of this is just mentally, consider our appearance, right? We know, and I've seen, and you guys have seen it, men will get on a stage in a black t-shirt with some jeans and speak. 
we as women oftentimes are more scrutinized. We're, we're looked at to look a certain way, right? Our hair needs to be a certain way. Our clothes have to be a certain way. We got to wear heels, all these crazy things. Again, this is mental. But I want to encourage you, instead of looking at that as a challenge, like, oh my God, I don't have the right outfit or I don't have the right look to say, you know what? I get that's how maybe, right? Because it may not even be true, but maybe people expect me to be, but I'm going to show up as me. I'm going to show up as my authentic self. I'm going to show up the way that feels good to me. If you don't like wearing heels, do not get your butt on a stage uncomfortable with some, you know, six inch heels. Like that's crazy. Wear your flats, wear your sneakers, do whatever you want to do because it's about you. And when you show up authentically, that's really all that matters. There's many other challenges that, of course, we face. I think sometimes people are biased um, and they don't want to work with women. They think we're we are less able sometimes, which is a little annoying. But again, who's for you is for you. And I've said that many times. Stop worrying about the naysayers and focus on the people that you can touch, you can help. My husband actually recently asked me, he said, do you ever work with men? I was like, absolutely. He's like, I don't ever see them. I said, they, I work with them, but I do attract mostly women because I think that we can relate. We've gone through some of the same situations. We're going to face some of the same challenges and we're able to connect just on a deeper level. And he was like, oh, OK, cool, cool. But yeah, and that's that's what I want you guys to start thinking about. Instead of thinking about this is a challenge. This is why I'm not getting into certain rooms. This is why I'm not getting certain opportunities. Go find the other rooms, right, that the doors are open or knock down that door if you if you need to. And then create opportunities if you feel like there are not opportunities available for you right now. That's the difference between those who will succeed and those who will fail is understanding that really all of this is in your wheelhouse. It's not about everybody else. It's not about what they perceive. It's about what you believe, and that'll help you get where you want to go. Now, breaking barriers. All the women I talked about today are definitely breaking barriers. They're absolutely amazing. A lot of them are the only people that do what they do, especially the way that they do them. Amen. Um, but I, I encourage you to break barriers find gaps in the market, find spaces where you uniquely fit, where you uniquely can provide a service or a product to people who are dying, who are desperate, who really want it from you, because that is where you're going to thrive. Stop trying to be the next Oprah. Stop trying to be the next whomever. Be you. Be you, because that is really what is going to set you apart and allow you to be the groundbreaker, the earth shaker that you are. Like, I'm give you a word tonight. <laughs> All right. Also, I want you to really work on networking. And it doesn't just have to be with women, but I have really enjoyed um, in the last year or two, I've really have put a big emphasis on networking and collaboration. And guys, that has been the highlight of my year. Yes, I love coaching. Yes, I love marketing. But I have really enjoyed just the sisterhood of it all. Being able to be in spaces where I can be frank, where I can be myself, where I can learn and grow. And if I need to whine or complain about something, I can and people get it. Um, so please strategically network, find your tribe, find your soul sisters, people that will support you. I have people that are all over the country that I stay in contact with on a daily, weekly, monthly basis where I can be like, hey, can I ask you a question? Can I? Can you give me your thoughts? Would you like to do a project together? And they're like, yeah, sure. And tell me where anytime. Um, and that's so amazing. That's so amazing. And I know some of you are out there and you feel lonely and you feel like, there's nobody there supporting you. And that's because you haven't been networking. You haven't reached out and found your support system. Please do. That's one of the reasons why we founded the private community, um, because I wanted a place where you guys could connect. We actually, and I'll talk about this more in a moment, have another community that's a paid community that we are growing um, now because some people need another level of support. This one's kind of cool because it's like, hey, it's free. But when people actually pay to play, they're they're a little bit more serious. You can you got just serious folks in one space and they're able to move a lot faster together. So we have another community um, to do that. But I do want you, regardless if you are in the paid or the free, whether you're working with me or anybody else, find your folk, connect with them and 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 work together work together because it's so much better as an entrepreneur to be working with other individuals than to be consistently alone. All right. So I mentioned we got something new coming out. So we've had group coaching before. We've had one-on-one -on -one coaching. We still do have one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, but 
I was told by someone recently, I can't remember who told me, they were like, yo, I really want to work with you. I really, really, really do, but I just can't afford it. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just, sometimes a no is a no and it's okay. I'm very much a coach that says like money is finite um, and I get it. I talked to earlier in my live, I think it was earlier today, matter of fact, I was like, you know, there were times when I needed to fund parts of my business and I would go get like a little piece of job here or there, or, you know, do whatever, figure it out. Um, and so I totally get it. But I took that to heart and I said, is there a way? And I was I was actually collaborating with other people and they were giving me ideas. And I said, you know what? I can do it. So we have created the Actions Accelerator Academy. It is a group coaching program. It is a hybrid program. I'm going to be coming in as the head coach and I'm going to be doing one training a week along with several Q&A calls where um, people in this community, in this academy will be able to hop on and ask the question specific to them. I did not want to make a space where I was just talking out and they weren't able to ask questions. And so, ooh, excuse me, you will actually be able to in small groups um, join these Q&A calls and get your chance to talk to me, ask me your questions, share your screen, all the things, uh, but in a group setting. Um, you will also have access to a toolkit, and I call it a toolkit, not a course, because I have seen, I've been in plenty of coaching programs where they have a course that you never get through. I actually am a part of a course program right now that I am just so behind in um, because I know I have to go in a certain order. This toolkit is great because it's grab what you need and go. Um, it's all about implementation that's the whole point of this program and what i'm asking you to do is go in figure out what you need grab that lesson do that action and get up on out of there um of course me and my team are here to guide you so i don't expect you to know everything on your own of where you need to go and where you need to start but i wanted to provide that resource because not everybody needs a full a to z course some people just need a certain section so we, we put this this toolkit in sections we also have made it really easy to navigate but it's quick bites where you can actually know how to do something and go do it have a template to do it go do it have a guide go do it um, because i want people to get out of this mindset thing where they're stuck in mindset and they're stuck in planning i want you guys to go out here and actually go do it simple as that go do it so i'm going to give you a little behind the scenes i think the landing page is done I asked that it would be done today. So let me pull it up. I'll share my screen just to give you a little bit behind the scenes, but the link um, will be in the in all the places that you see this video. I'll go back and do the link after this so that you can check it out yourself. Now I will say, hold on, let me, let me make myself big on the screen real quick. This is a beta test of this program. I am really big on trying a product out before it fully launches. And so we are taking only 20 women in this program. Um, and I say women, and I just decided that from this talk before I was like 20 people, but 20 women, we're taking, that's it. Um, we're trying to have those 20 women all enrolled in the next 90 days. That is our timeline for the beta test, just so that if I need to edit anything, I can before it fully launches. So it is on sale right now. Uh, we have two payment options because we have made it super affordable. That's all you get. Please do not ask me for three and four different payment options. Um, we really looked at this program. It's a 12 month enrollment, regardless of when you start. So if you start now, you get 12 months. If you start in two months, you get 12 months. We're going to give you a whole year to get all you need out of the program at the rate that you sign up for. And I think that's pretty fair. All right. Let me just share with you guys. Let's see, because I don't want to be up here too, too long. All right, so here it is. Um, and like I said, I'll link it so you can actually go through it. I want people to be able to peruse it, but there is an application process. I want the people who are ready to go, who are the most likely to succeed to be in this program, because they're going to give me the feedback I need to make sure that this program really does what it's supposed to do, right? It's supposed to accelerate your success, right? It's all about action. So it's not about, again, it's not about staying up here. It's about doing the work. And if anybody's ever worked with me um, in any of my coaching programs, they know I'm about getting things done. We're not going to talk about it forever. We're going to get it done. But you're going to get 12 months um, to work with me and my team. We plan to have some experts come in and talk with you. 
those master classes that you guys got to enjoy last year, they're going to be for these people only. We're not going to do master classes for the general public anymore. Uh, sorry, but I did warn y'all last year and tell you. Um, so if you're a coaching client, if you're part of the, the inner circle of IROC, you will have access to the master classes. Um, you also get free tickets to any of our virtual events as part of this program because I want you to have it all, right? So we'll be talking about your goals. You're going to have clarity and momentum. You're going to have practical implementation. You're going to have sustainable growth. You're going to have community and support. I told you earlier, we have a whole different Facebook group that's going to be just for, for our coaching clients now. It's not going to be for everybody because I want people who are really moving and shaking to have an opportunity to connect with other moving and shaking people that are going the same place in the same direction as them. So again, what do you get? You get weekly coaching sessions. Right. I'm going to come in and teach something because I believe you need to learn. <laughs> All right. We're going to have weekly Q&A sessions where you're going to come. You did your homework. You did whatever. And you're going to ask questions. Hey, I went through this part of the toolkit. I have a question. Can you look at my landing page? Can you look at this ad? Can you look at this? Can you look at that? I'm going to do it. You're going to share your screen. We're going to talk about it. You're going to get the help you need. You're going to have that year-long toolkit access with things all the way from starting your business all the way up through scaling your business, right? And what, I, what the cool part about the beta test is people are going to tell me, hey, I would like this lesson too, and I'm going to make it. So it's going to be expanding over the next probably year. And then, of course, you get the community and networking aspect of you're going to be able to connect with other amazing individuals. So it tells you in this landing page how the um, toolkit is broken down so that you can be able to see it. Um, and it's it's set up in an ABC type of way. We have the Business Accelerator, which is for our newbies. We have the Business Boot Camp, which is for most of the people who work with me. Um, and then we have Business Champions for those ready to scale. Um, you're also going to get extras, like I said, that private Facebook community, extra networking opportunities. You're going to get scripts. You're going to get templates. You're going to get guides. You're going to get checklists. Because what I want you to do, I want you to implement. You can check out the testimonies on your own time. And then I do have an FAQ section. Try to answer questions that you probably would have just because for the first time ever, we're not really doing our one-on-one -on -one consultation calls. People are going to put in their applications. I'm going to pick the 20 people I think are going to be best suited for this program. Um, if you're not suited for it, it does tell you when you fill out the application. I will still talk to you. I will let you know. We may have to get on a call and see if there's another program that fits because I really want movers and shakers in this group, right? Movers and shakers. I told you before, we got two options. We're going to make it real simple for you. You can pay in full. It's 5K. We're not going to sugarcoat it. It's 5K. It is what it is, but it's for 12 months of coaching support plus the experts plus the free tickets to so our, our virtual events plus all the extras, all, all the, the beautiful resources that we have. If that doesn't work for you, I get it. I wanted you to save a little bit. You save about $1,000 if you pay in full, but if you can't, it's okay. This is where the affordability comes in. So all of you said, I really, I just can't. <laughs> I just can't, I get it. $500 a month for 12 months. That is how much it costs. That ain't gonna say cost, that's the investment of how you can get in this program. That's the most affordable I can make it. I have never had a coaching program that was under $1,000 a month. I'm just going to be honest because I know the value of what I'm doing. I know the value that it'll bring. I know how much money, um, let's just be clear, you can make off of what I'm teaching you. So for $500 a month for 12 months is the payment breakdown. Those are the two options. I make it really clear because I don't want you to waste your time. I don't, I don't waste my time. We created this program for a specific person in mind, right? We always talk about that, the target audience. Who's your specific target audience? My specific target audience understands the value and they understand that this is an amazing discount. This is an amazing opportunity, okay? And I told you before, this is a special rate. It won't be here forever. Over the next 90 days or less, we're trying to get 20 people in this program and then this price will go up because we're going to enhance the program and make it affordable. But again, we have to charge its worth. Because if not, and I, and I, you know, if you're a coach, then you should get this by now. If people don't pay, they don't pay attention. Period. If I don't make it an investment, people are just going to do a little bit, do stuff here and there. They're not going to take it seriously. So I need them to understand that they're investing in themselves so that they work to get that money back. Okay. So again, you can learn a little bit about the company. You can learn a little bit about me. 
Um, but the main purpose of all this is so that you implement now. That's the goal that you implement now. So if you think this program is going to be the thing that helps you, if you've been really struggling with getting it going, you're like, I kind of know what I need to do, but I just haven't been on it. If you're needing accountability, if you're needing a network, if you're needing support, if you need somebody just to say, this is ABC, this is how you do it. And then you can go, then that's what we're here for. I've had so many people tell me, I don't know how to make a lead magnet. Okay, we're gonna help you do that. I don't know how to build my course out. I don't know how to price my products. I don't know how to do my sales scripts. I don't know how to create a funnel. I don't know what software I need to use. This is what we're here to do. We're offering you affordable solutions for marketing, sales, and business fundamentals. So if that sounds like a program for you, you need to get over here while the getting is good and go ahead and, to, and go ahead and apply to get into the Actions Accelerator Academy. All right, I'm excited about this program. I really am because I'm like, we finally found a way to make it affordable for you guys. It's not even on the website and I, it won't be on the website anytime soon. The only way to get it is to go to the landing page and actually apply. And please do go through the FAQ. Um, if you do have other questions, of course, you can reach out, um, but you do have to go through the application process. Nobody is going to be um, skipping that because we are going to find the best 20 candidates for this program um, because I want you guys to win and I want to celebrate when the year's up. I want to be like, yo, look at us. Look what we did. Look how we made it. I want you guys to see how much further you got having a coach, having a network, having a community, having the support um, behind you because you've been doing it by yourself or you've been doing it with the wrong coach, right? Or you've been kind of sort of doing it on your this course that you purchased once upon a time. Now is the time to get into a place that's all about implementation, implementation, getting it done. All right. I'm not big into doing huge sales promo type things. So if you want to just scan the QR code, you absolutely can. Or you can go to this link when I get off here. As soon as I get off, I'm going to go into the comment section of wherever this video is on all the different platforms. And I'm going to post it. And you're going to see more information coming out about it. Again, feel free to ask a question. Reach out to me or my team. We'll be happy to answer. Um, if you are a one-on-one -on -one client, I know y'all like I wouldn't be into one-on-one -on -one clients will be able to come in and get all these resources as well. Um, I did forget about you because I wasn't gonna have a program and not let you guys in. So you don't have to join this one too. Um, but yes, if you want, if you're not a one-on-one -on -one client, you do have to apply to be accepted into the Action Accelerator Academy. But I can't wait to see you in there. Have a great night, guys. Remember, I rock, you rock, we all rock. All right, until next time. Have an amazing, amazing day. In the journey of entrepreneurship, success is often about having the right guidance and tools at your fingertips. Welcome to iRock Marketable Business Solutions, your compass to business excellence. We understand that as a service-based small business owner, your path to success is unique. That's why iRock offers a wide range of coaching and consulting services tailored to your needs. Imagine gaining the knowledge you need from the comfort of your own home. Explore our quick on-demand webinars, courses, and toolkits designed to accelerate your business growth. But we go beyond that. Join our vibrant community in our group coaching programs or experience personalized guidance with our one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting services. At iRock, every program comes with incredible bonuses. These bonuses are designed to support you on your journey, helping you bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be. Some of our bonuses include expert speaker sessions, group Q&A calls, guides, checklists, scripts, and more. Ready to supercharge your business journey? Explore our coaching and consulting services. Get the guidance and tools you need to reach your goals. Empower your business with iRock Marketable Business Solutions. Are you a service-based small business owner juggling multiple roles and constantly racing against the clock? 
Make iRock Marketable Business Solution your trusted business partner in achieving business success. We understand the unique challenges you face in managing your business. That's why we offer a range of virtual assistant services tailored just for you. Our virtual assistants are skilled, dedicated, and ready to lighten your workload. Imagine having a partner who can handle your social media management, data entry, and travel plans. Picture a team that creates engaging video content for your audience. Think about never worrying about administrative tasks again. With iRock, you don't just save time, you gain peace of mind. Our virtual assistants are like an extension of your business, allowing you to focus on what you do best. Join the countless small business owners who have elevated their businesses with our VA services. Ready to take the next step towards business success? Discover how we can make your business journey smoother. Unlock the full potential of your business with iRock Marketable Business Solutions.